Hello, chill computer guy. We are here in Bitwig Studio. We got a quick little lesson here. It involves printing MIDI. Now you can see here I have this, uh, these notes here. It's a little melody or whatever. And what I want to do is I want to turn this into kind of a loose chord progression using the multi-note. But what I want is I want the output of the multi-note to print the MIDI. That way I can adjust each individual note, maybe the velocity, and get like some different, uh, some different, you know, moods, some different emotional texture, if you will, from the MIDI uh, chords. Now, what I thought you would do is uh, I thought you would use the note receiver device. I renamed it note input because I'm neurotic and I have to rename everything. So you can see under the note input, I have a drop down. I click multi note. So that to me is telling me that I'm going to receive the MIDI from the multi note. Now you can see we have a couple of uh, mutes. You want to make sure and not mute the input or the source because that's going to actually see it graze it out. What you want to do is just capture that MIDI. So what you think you would do is you go ahead and click uh, record on the MIDI print track, click record on the transport, and then go ahead and play through this. And as you can see, we, we have nothing. It didn't, it didn't print a single MIDI note. Now, I've tried every possible variation. I've tried, uh, you know, I've tried coming right out of the uh, piano. I've tried uh, muting the input, muting the source. I've tried all the possible variations, but for some reason, this does not print the MIDI data. And so how to do that is, let's go ahead and uh, delete this clip here. How to do that is just get rid of the note receiver, okay? This is great for triggering like instruments uh, using MIDI data from other tracks, but as far as printing, it's not gonna work for you. Go ahead and delete that. And what you wanna do is on your MIDI print track is under all ends, you wanna change that to, in this case, the multi-note, okay? Once you do that, same thing, make sure hit record there, hit record on the transport and go ahead and play through it again. Look at that, beautiful. Now you have all the MIDI notes there and you can, uh, you know, you can make uh, adjustments to them. You can change the velocity of certain notes. Sometimes that'll give you a, a little different emotion when the chord hits. Um, and so having the ability to do that is, is pretty sweet. Now, another great thing about this is uh, you can also use this with, uh, with like Cthulhu or third party uh, uh, plugins. Let's go ahead and turn the multi-note off. We're gonna Turn the Cthulhu on, and then what we're going to do is we're going to basically switch this input to the Cthulhu, okay? And then let's go ahead and delete this track here. And same thing again, make sure to hit record on the MIDI print. Disengage the record on the, on the play track, of course, goes without saying. And then also, this will work with arpeggios or any kind of MIDI uh, effect. So let's go ahead and check this out. Hit record on the transport and play. That's unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing there. Let's go ahead and double click on that. Let's take a look at those notes. What's great about this is sometimes you can select certain, you know, notes from the chord and just bring the velocity of just those notes down. And it'll give that chord kind of a different flavor. And so normally you couldn't do that. With the single notes and running it through a MIDI uh, generator, you, you don't have control over each individual note. And so to be able to print the MIDI from any third party uh, MIDI generator or an arpeggio or anything else, you can make those slight adjustments. But remember to do that, you gotta use the actual input on the MIDI channel and not the note receiver. You would think you'd use the note receiver, but that was kind of a hang up. That really confused me quite a bit. And once I figured out, you know, I figured you couldn't do it with the note receiver, well, maybe you can't do it. And I got a little frustrated, but 
figured it out, and I thought I would pass that knowledge on to you. All right. Okay, let's take these. Let's take that, and let's lower those way, 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 way down. Way, way down. Let's play it again. Let's take that uh, first. Actually, let's take the lowest note. Deselect all those. Let's take the lowest note and just crank it up. Now let's try again. Oh, you're getting slightly different flavors there with that chord. So, you know, definitely go in there and make those fine little adjustments. Also, I would recommend, you know, these are all quantized to 16th. Eventually, I'm going to unquantize this so it kind of has, you know, no human hand is going to hit all the keys at the exact same second. It's very important. Anyway, that's what I got for you. I got a little quick tip, you know, it's kind of a little quick tip. Be sure to use this menu um, to pull the MIDI in, and then uh, you can actually record um, those MIDI devices into new MIDI lanes. So check it out. Don't use the note receiver. Don't be confused like me. And also, we're going to have some more uh, quick lessons. Well, I'm going to do a quick lesson. You know, I don't like doing this big, long thing, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm back back in the game, so I'm going to be doing some more uh, Bitwig lessons and whatnot. So be sure and click that bell so you don't miss out on anything. Um, subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend about the channel. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, we'll be seeing you again. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye now.